So welcome back to our 20th video and I want to do a little recap on the variables that we have been learning. So there's actually four types of variables we've been learning in the last few videos. Uh, strings, numbers, or integers. Numbers and integers are the same thing. And then Boolean and then null. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick example. Let me get rid of all this stuff. We'll just do a quick review of what we've been learning. So I'm going to go ahead and create some an open PHP tag and I'm gonna close it right here and I'm gonna create some variables in here and I'm just gonna call this one five and I'm gonna go ahead and create B so I'm gonna create a variable called a that's an integer or a number remember I told you guys I would say I, I I said I would say numbers from here on out but when we output it to what type it is it's gonna say integer and keep in mind if we have a five here and this is a number, and it is a number, but if we put it in quotation, that just turned into a string. So these are two totally, completely different things right now. This is a number or an integer, and now this is a string. And I'll show you guys how we can check for that in about 30 more seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and create duh, 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 C, and we'll go ahead and just call this true. Okay, so I'll go ahead and come down here, and we'll go, what are we going to do? I'll do... Um, integer okay now I'll do variable a equals echo and then get type is a PHP function that outputs to our browser what type of variable it is and again we're not gonna learn all the PHP functions um, you know some are a lot more common than others but I'll try my best to explain what each function does as I go along but keep in mind that if you ever have a question about a function, just go to php.net, type it in, and I'm sure you'll get a thorough understanding, a definition, and examples of what you're trying to accomplish. And I spelled variable wrong because I'm an idiot. Variable A equals, we don't know yet. Variable B equals echo get type. Remember I said that it's a string now, now that we put that 5 in quotation marks. It's no longer an integer or a number. And then variable C equals PHP open tags. Let's echo get type. C, close this out. And I don't want to do a, a, a variable for null because, I, I mean, I guess we can do a variable for null. We'll just go variable null equals php echo get type I don't even know if this will work I'm gonna go ahead and save this like that I'm gonna go ahead and reload it and okay so go back it did work but I never remember to put my break tags in I apologize Okay, so perfect. We have our variable A. Let me pull this down a little bit. Our variable A, that is equal to an integer. I've been saying number the whole time, but remember, they're the exact same thing. And then since 5 is in quotations, PHP registers that as a string. It's not smart enough to know that we're assuming that we want the number 5. It assumes that it, it takes that as text. So B is equal to a string. C, get type, we created it true, it didn't matter if we put true or false, it's going to equal to boolean because we, with our PHP function get type, it's going to output what kind of variable it is. And then D, we did not create a variable, so it has no value. So it has no value. So variable D is equal to null. So I just wanted to do this quick review because we're going to be jumping into loops and a little bit more difficult things in the next few videos. So I hope you guys are following along. Good luck and let me know if you guys have any questions.